life, but in what circumstances, if any, would you allow abortions? Mr. Taylor, I think this is your question first here. Would there be any exceptions in your mind? The only exception for me would be the life of the mother. Uh, I believe that every God-given life it should be protected, and that's why I'm supported by the lead counsel for Iowa's heartbeat bill, and that's why I've put forward a 10-part defend life policy plan that I plan to introduce on the Judiciary Committee that I think is very important. I also want to say this. Uh, Senator Feinster brought up uh, sponsoring a life at conception bill. The problem with that bill was he was the only one that was on it. Two years earlier, a state senator found 20 others. That's not leadership. That's not about life. That's about Randy. For me, I'm somebody that stood up to my own caucus in the Iowa House, stood in front of a caucus of 60, and was one of only five who said, I will not support an HHS budget because it has taxpayer funding for abortion. That's a key critical difference in this race. Who's willing to go along to get along? and who's willing to stand on principle before political gain. Mr. Feenster, do you want to respond to what he said there? I'll just simply say, we got it done. We defunded Planned Parenthood. We defunded all, all abortions in the, in the state of Iowa that, that are paid for by tax. And we passed the heartbeat bill. And I did write the life at conception bill. Uh, these are all things that I'm very proud of. And these are things, when you talk about delivering results, I want to deliver when I get to Congress. It's one of my number one issues. But like with Congressman King, that's not an answer to the question. Just wanted to note that. Thank you. Mr. Richards, would there be any exceptions in your mind? Should there be any?